How did a former Division II college player go from undrafted to NBA starter competing for an NBA Finals? Max Struess has jumped over many hurdles and beaten the odds to get where he is today, and the story of the Heat's big-time starting shooting guard is one that can be inspiring to everyone. Max Struess grew up in a suburb of Chicago, Illinois, by the name of Hickory Hills. Max was a two-sport athlete playing baseball and basketball at Amos Alonzo Stang High School. There, Max averaged 19 points and 9 rebounds as a senior and was recognized as the Player of the Year in the area in 13 Mall State. Struess was not heavily recruited at all out of high school and ended up committing to a Division II school by the name of Lewis University in Romeoville, Illinois. In his freshman season at Lewis, Max averaged 13.3 points, 2.2 assists, and 5.3 rebounds. Max returned to Lewis his sophomore season and made a huge jump averaging 20.2 points, 3.5 assists, and 8.4 rebounds. Struess's impressive performance in his two seasons at Lewis started to catch the eye of some Division I programs, and Max was left with the decision of where to go to school. It came down to DePaul, Butler, and Xavier. Struess ended up going to DePaul and finished his collegiate career there, scoring over 1,000 points in the next two seasons. At DePaul is where Struess really began to realize his talent and gain the confidence he could play in the NBA. No, I never thought I'd be in the NBA, Struess said. That was never really a thought of mine. You can even ask my college coach on my visit. I sat down with him, and when they asked me where I wanted my basketball career to go, I said, I can see myself going to play overseas and trying to make a living off playing basketball. But then, during my first couple of days on campus at DePaul, after the first couple of practices, coach called me into his office. He said, you need to change your goals here. You can play in the NBA. You've got what it takes. That's what changed my mindset and what drove me to get where I am today. In Struess's first year at DePaul, he averaged 16.8 points, 2.7 assists, and 5.6 rebounds. In his final season in 2018 and 2019, Struess averaged 20.1 points, 2.2 assists, and 5.9 rebounds, and also had a monster game of 43 points and a win over St. John's. Max led the DePaul Blue Demons to their first winning season in 12 years in that 2018-2019 season. After the season, Max declared for the 2019 NBA Draft. Max watched as 60 names were called and none of them were Max Struess from DePaul University. Being undrafted was just another hurdle that Max was going to have to clear. Max was signed to a two-way contract with the Boston Celtics, but never got a chance in the league because they waived him before the start of the season. Eventually, Max found a way into the league when he signed a two-way contract with the Chicago Bulls. Max only played two games with the Bulls and spent most of his time in the G League playing with the Windy City Bulls before tragedy struck. In December of 2019, Max tore his ACL and was said to be out for 8-12 to 12 months. When I tore my ACL, I didn't really know what was going to happen, Struess said. At that time, I hadn't really made a name for myself at the professional level, and I didn't know if I was going to get another chance. Struess fought his way back through many months of rehab and would eventually get another opportunity. The Miami Heat would sign him to a training camp contract in the fall of 2020. Max would make the most of this opportunity as he went on to score 22 points in a preseason game against the Raptors. After that game, the Heat signed Max as a two-way player. The Heat would be a perfect landing spot for Max because the Heat organization has become known as an organization of taking chances on overlooked, undrafted, and having something to prove type of players. In Max's first season with the Heat in 2020, Struess would only play 39 games, averaging 13 minutes a game, producing six points and a rebound a game. In the following season in 2021, Max would play 68 games and start 16 of them. He averaged 10.6 points, three rebounds, and 1.4 assists on 41% shooting from three. In this current season of 2022 and 2023, Max played 80 games and started 33 of them, averaging 28.4 minutes a game. He has averaged 11.5 points a game, 2.1 assists, 3.2 rebounds on 35% three-point shooting. He has been the Heat starting shooting guard throughout this Heat Finals run. Max has come a long way since Lewis College, and even has come a long way since his first stint in the NBA. After the Heat's Eastern Conference Finals win in Game 7, Max posted a picture to slight the Boston Celtics for waving him. Max is a great example of a player who did not stop believing in himself and never quit. He has made it in the league by pure hard work, belief, and determination. And what he has been able to do 
for the heat is truly inspiring.